Megan, thanks for joining us. Uh, maybe this makes the whole team feel like you're part of walking into the opening ceremony <laughs> as you sit in the middle of the <laughs> yeah. aisle as you take the bus. We got the whole squad here. Uh, I'll try to get everyone in if I can. Uh, thanks for having us. Obviously, we can't we can't be there. I don't know who scheduled this practice at this time, but uh, the other people from uh, Team USA will be holding it down for us. Megan, what, what's it like to be an Olympian again, especially with everything that happened between 2016 and 2021? I mean, it's, it's always an unbelievable experience. I think, you know, last year in March and April, we were sitting here wondering if we were even going to get this opportunity. So while it looks quite different and feels quite different than it has in the past, I think all of us are just thrilled to be here. Um, hopefully we can put on a good show and, uh, you know, be a part of that great legacy of Team USA. We just watched Cape Verde come in with their six athletes as the seven athletes representing Guyana come in. Megan, I want to pivot to getting these Olympics started and you face Sweden, the team that knocked you all out in 2016 and they beat you three nothing. What have the last 24 hours been like for you and your teammates? <laughs> yeah, not great. Uh, we don't lose very often, and we definitely don't lose like that very often. Uh, you know, luckily in the Olympics, we play uh, what seems like uh, every other day, but it's about every other third day. So we have a match day again tomorrow. That's what we're looking forward to. Um, uh, we just need to take care of business. Uh, we weren't, weren't happy with our performance, and uh, we definitely need to do better tomorrow, and we're all excited for that. Megan, we're watching Kazakhstan walk in with their 96 athletes and their flag bearers, and your fiance Sue Bird is the flag bearer for Team USA when they come in later on. Uh, what was her reaction when she told you the good news? Uh, she, she told me on text as she heard at practice. Um, she was in typical Sue fashion, very low key about it, but I did <laughs> see the video. Uh, when Dee told her, and I think that says it all, um, you know, unlike me, she doesn't like a lot of the attention, but. <laughs> I think you could tell in that moment just how much it meant to her. I mean, obviously she's, uh, you know, a five-time Olympian going for her fifth gold medal. Um, you know, I get to see just how much that means to her and how much she puts into it. So I know this means the world to her and I just couldn't be prouder and happier. And I feel like, you know, I get to share in it even though I'm not really deserving enough to be flag bearer. <laughs> I think you're deserving enough. That's just fine. But And you got to get take the entire team on the ride here through the opening ceremony virtually. Megan, thanks. Good luck bouncing back. We know. Thank you, Team USA. We appreciate you all. Megan, good luck bouncing back from the Sweden game. We'll be watching. Thanks, Mike.